Hayan, hello, hello, good afternoon, isang mapagpalayang hapon sa iyong lahat, mga itulay tutors ko, mga tagapagsubaybay sa ating itulay online tutorial, hatid sa inyo ng DepEd Online. Thank you so much sa mga nanonood ngayon. Shout out ko lang ang aking mga kaibigan dyan. Hello, hello, hello po. Okay, so... Magsimula na tayo sa ating itulay online tutorial. By the way, sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin, ako nga pala ang bibang-bibang chabing inyong tutor for today. Which I am Tutor Rogar. So every Monday po ako. At ang tinuturo ko ngayon ay Science 7 from 1pm to 1.40. Ako'y galing sa Division of Davao City, the land of promise. Okay. So, ang ating module ngayon ay hango or ang ating tutorial ngayon ay hango sa module ng grade 7 ng, ng Division of Davao City. At ito'y sinulat ni Ma'am Leslie May S. Lavador ng Bustamante National High School. Hello Ma'am Leslie and inedit ni Sir Jerry T. Papa ng Denya Carmen National High School at na-review ni Ma'am Rudeline D. Garcesa ng Bernardo Carpio National High School. And all of them are from Davao City Division. Hello, hello po. Okay, so our topic for this afternoon, yan, um, it's a science grade 7, quarter 3, module 4, week 4. And it talks about waves around us. Okay, so... Ang bilis ng takbo ng mundo, di ba? Um, parang week 1 pa ako dati ng quarter 3. Ngayon, module 4 na and week 4 na. Hello, hello po. Okay, so hi Rainier Bao, hi Tutor Roger, hello, hello po. And also, I would like to greet, before we start, I would like to greet um, the Bashawa National High School teachers. They are watching right now. Thank you so much. And also, Clyde Kinet Saludar. From Bernardo Carpio National High School. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Sige. Parang madami po tayo ngayon. At saka ang saya-saya, di ba? Okay. So, samahan nyo akong maglakbay, maglaro at mag-enjoy. At sumagot sa ating mga questions later. Okay. So, our most essential competency for this week, which is week 4, is to describe the characteristics of sound. Okay, using the concepts of wavelength, velocity, and amplitude. So speaking of sound, okay, mapapalaban tayo sa sound, charing, sa singing. And I would like to compliment our very nice and na LSS talaga ako sa ating itulay jingle. I hope sabay-sabay natin kantahin yun. Um, later, siguro, o oh, kung may time pa, di ba? Sige, next time, yan. Okay, now let's proceed and hello. Hello pala sa aking mga co-teachers dyan at mga kaibigan sa Francisco Bangoy National High School. Hello, hello po mga ma'am and sir. And of course, our tutees. Yan, mga ating mga sudyante dyan ng mga grade 7. Okay, so our objectives for today is madami-dami. We have to compare transverse, longitudinal, and surface waves. These are the types of waves that we're going to learn. Number two is to distinguish mechanical from electromagnetic waves. These are how to propagate the waves through mechanical and through electromagnetic waves. And the lastly, number three is to describe the characteristics of sound using the concept of, concepts of wavelengths, amplitude, and speed. Okay, so madami dami. The question, are you ready? Handa na ba kayo? I think all of them were were very ready. Hello, hello to Dr. LJ Mabano Ferraran. Hello, and Doc. And also Del Mundo Cristiana. Hello po. And Erica Bohol Rapales. Hello, hello. And all of them watching right now. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's try to have these questions before we proceed to our lesson. Okay. Number one, which of the following is not true? <laughs> Sorry about waves. A. Waves transmit energy from one place to another. B. Waves transmit matter from place to another. 
See, waves can propagate as mechanical or electromagnetic waves. And lastly, letter D, waves are classified as transverse, longitudinal, and surface waves. What's your answer? Okay. Nakalimutan kong mag-timer. Baka mag-overtime. Okay. So what's your answer? Hello, Ma'am Jessica. Ah, yes, you are ready. Thank you for supporting me. Okay. Again, not true about waves. The answer is, parang wala pang sumagot. Okay, Regin Alejado answered B. The answer is, of course, it's letter. Right, medyo matagal ha. Okay, yan, it's letter B. Correct, Regin Alejado. Next, letter B. Which of the following is not a transverse wave? Okay, A. Visible light. B. Water waves. C. Radio waves. Or letter D. Sound waves. The answer is letter D. Sound waves. Nako, Ma'am Jessica. Mali ka po. <laughs> okay lang yan. Okay. Sige. Number three. Which of the following travels as a mechanical wave? A. Sun's UV rays. B, sound waves, C, radio waves, or letter D, x-rays. Okay, the answer is letter B, sound waves. Okay, number four. What happens to the amplitude when there is a high intensity of sound? A, there is low amplitude. B, there is high amplitude. C, there is static amplitude. Or letter D, there is minimal amplitude. So what's your answer for number four? Okay, so by answering, you have to indicate the number so that I could able to know kung anong letter yan, kung anong number yan na sinasagot nyo. Kasi always A, B, I don't know kung ano saan na number yan. Okay, so the answer for that is Number four is letter B. There is a high amplitude. Okay. Sige. We will explain that one later during our discussions. Okay. Number five. What happens to the wavelength of sound when there is a high frequency? Okay. It has an increasing wavelength. B. It has a shorter wavelength. Letter C, it has a longer wavelength. And letter D, it has a static wavelength. Okay, so what's your answer for that? The answer is letter K, letter B. Okay, it has a shorter wavelength. Yan. So let's check your, your scores or you're going to count your scores. Go how much is your... Not how much, but uh, how many checks do you have it? <laughs> okay. Sige, sige. Relax lang po tayo. Yan, nakatama si Janaline Lingayan Abilio Awa. Thank you so much. Now, let's proceed. So, waves around us. Bakit nga ba around us? Bakit nga ba? Um, Nafe-feel nyo ba ang wave? Nakikita nyo ba ang wave? Ano ba ito? Tao, bagay, hangin? Yan. So, yan ay sasagutin natin sa ating paksa ngayon. So, waves around us. So, pwede tayong makakreate ng waves, right? Um, let's have an example. Okay. But before that, let's define what is the nature of waves. Okay. Wave can be defined as a periodic disturbance that travels away from its source in which energy is transmitted. Okay. And... It occurs when repet repetitive motion called vibration takes place like when we wave our hands or strum the strings of the guitar or I throw a stone into a lake. Okay. Diba? Napapansin nyo, um, sa dagat, may mga wave. Tapos, pag ilalagay nyo yung stone sa lake, may wave din siya bumubuko. Okay. That is an example also of a wave. Okay, and there are also waves that cannot be seen. Yan. Sige. Let's have an example. Okay, a boy tapping his hand on the water. 
So let's observe and study the picture. How could this boy be able to move the paper boat without holding the paper boat? Paano kaya para gumalaw yung boat, ano ang gagawin niya para magalaw yung boat or yung paper boat sa basin or yung tatawag nating planggana? Okay. Ano kaya ang gagawin niya? Now, and question, how does a wave transfer or transmit energy from one place to another? Now, let's go back to the boy. Ideally, sino na dito nakapaglaro na ng bangka-bangkaan? Diba? Mas maganda tingnan ang bangka kung hindi mo, ano, hindi mo hinuhold or hinahawakan yung bangka as it um, sail. Diba? Mas maganda yung tinatap mo yung water para magkaroon ng wave at yung bangka o yung bangka-bangkaan mo ay gumagalaw. So you are creating a wave. Now the question, how does a wave transfer or transmit energy from one place to another? Yan. Sige. Sabi ni Janeline Lingayan, Ubilio Awa, by tapping the water using your fingers. Okay, very good. Okay, mansanas na pagod. Ah, hi po, grade 7. Hello, hello. Um, ang, ang, anong pangalan mo, mansanas na pagod? Pa, bakit ka na pagod? <laughs> Di ba? Ang unique naman. Sabi niya, he's a grade 7 learner. Opo, kasi gumagalaw ng dahil sa tubig. Yes, tama yun. Now, here. As the boy taps his hand on the water, this will start a wave pulse. Right? Yung parang wave, hindi siya parang wave, wave talaga siya. And it's called wave pulse. It refers to a single disturbance that will start the series of disturbances or waves. But it, de um, it depends on how you, ano, you give force on the water ka ng ang bilis. So, depende sa, ano, sa ginawa mong pag-wave. Di ba? How disturbed is it is. The wave pulse created by the boy's hand has put energy into the water. And this energy travels. Okay, naka red font yan. Energy travels in the form of waves from one place to another. This transmission of energy makes the paper boat moves. Yan. So I know you could relate that one. Dahil tayo, lahat tayo naglalaro ng bangka-bangkaan. Lalo-lalo na pag nasa dagat tayo o hindi kaya kung nasa bahay lang ay, di ba? Yan. So, ah, ang pangalan ni Mansanas na pagod ay si Dash Simbahon. Hello, Dash! Yan, mag-selfie ka naman, Dash, habang nanonood ka ng itulay tutorial natin ngayon. Thank you! At saka isend mo na lang sa akin. Yes or a post mo. Okay, next. So there are types of waves, okay? Madaming waves. Number 1 is this kind of wave. Um familiar sa inyo? Okay. Tawag nito is transverse waves. This happen when waves travel in a direction perpendicular to the direction of the wave movement. Example of transverse waves are infrared and ultraviolet waves. Okay. The rope waves travel up and down and the wave moves, movement moves horizontally. Yun. So nakita nyo sa picture, para siyang yung sa ano, um, sa latigo. Yan. ba? So the rope waves travel up and down, and the wave movement moves horizontally. So, anong tawag niya? It's transverse waves. Yun. Next, we have okay. Uh -huh. Yun. Another type, which is by the use of slinky. Yan. I have a slinky here. Yan. This is slinky. So, Yan. Okay. 
So this is called longitudinal waves. This happens when waves travel in a direction perpendicular to the direction of the wave movement. So example for that is sound wave. So are you familiar with this? Yung mga batang 90s, mahilig maglaro ito. Diba? So nakikita nyo po sa video. Yan. This is a slinky. Pero medyo masakit siya kasi metal. Yan. Galing ito sa aming science laboratory at hiniram ko. Thank you so much. Shout out ko ang aming laboratory in charge. Hello, thank you so much, Ma'am Rapales, for letting me borrow this linky. Yan. So, meron akong example niyan. Ito, ginawa ko to kanina. Yan. Uh, yan. Okay. Okay. So, what are your observations in longitudinal wave? Diba? Magkaiba siya ng transverse wave. I-compare mo sa transverse wave. Diba? Sabi, na, sabi ni Dash, yan yung mga nilalaro po ng mga bata dati. Iba, iba lang po kasi may color. Yan. Oo. Kasi yun dati yung mga, bat, mga bata is colorful. Ito, metal. Kasi pang ano ito eh, pang laboratory. Sige. So, it means that the coil spring, ito, that the coil spring is moved back and forth. Its waves also travel back and forth and the wave movement travels horizontally. So, hindi nyo man nakikita sa inyong mga mata, um, sa inyong, uh, ano, sa inyong naked eye, ang pag-wave ng longitudinal, at least, you may able to learn na ganyan ang movement ng longitudinal wave. And one of the examples for the longitudinal wave is sound wave. Okay. So, another type of wave is, this one is a surface waves. This happens when waves travel both as transverse and longitudinal wave. Okay? So, um, it's a combination of both transverse and longitudinal. So, surface wave where the water particles move both horizontally and vertically to the direction of the wave movement. So, it depends on the wave movement. It could travel horizontally or vertically. Okay? So, what are the three waves? We have the transverse waves, we have the longitudinal waves, and the surface waves. I hope you will not forget that one because that is one of our objectives. Right? Okay, let's proceed. Ayun, hala, may gitara. Diba? So, how do waves propagate? Okay, how do waves propagate or other term for pro propagation is how do waves created? Paano tayo gagawa ng waves and so on and so forth. Okay, there are two ways on how we propagate waves, students, teachers, and parents. Number one is the mechanical waves. This occur when waves travel through a medium such as solid, liquid, or gas for an instance, when you strum the guitar, diba? For example, yan. So, pag strum na guitar, that is a mechanical waves already because it needs a medium. It could be it could be an object, it could be in a liquid or in a gas form, okay? And that's what we call the mechanical waves. One of the best examples for that is when you strum a guitar, okay? Another is the electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves, sorry, occur without the aid of a medium. Wala siyang dependent na mga gamit para makakreate ng wave. The waves existing in the sun's ultraviolet rays, x-rays, radio waves, are example of electromagnetic waves. So the sun's rays, hindi naman kailangan tayo ng um, kahit anong gamit para to to produce that sun's ultraviolet rays kasi that's already natural. That's already given, coming from the sun. The X-rays as well, the radio waves, 
and so on and so forth. Okay, so those are um, the how we propagate the waves. There are two ways, the mechanical waves and the electromagnetic waves. Yeah, so don't forget that one because that is objective number two. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sabi naman ni, ni Dance, parang ganyan po yung sa mga hospital. Yes, opo. Yan. Di ba? Hindi nyo alam, sa pag exay kayo, may wave yan. Okay. Sige. Thank you. Proceed, let's have the parts of the waves. So, very important to learn, what are the parts of the waves? Okay. These are the things that you're going to consider. These are some of the parts of the waves that you need to learn. Okay? Wow, thank you so much, Ma'am Jeneline Ligayan Ubilio at Awa for, for, for your comment. Thank you po. Okay, so these are the types of the... Um, what we call, not the types, but parts of the wave. No, wala ako, sorry. So number one, we have the crest. Yeah, the crest refers to the point at the highest part of the wave. So nakita nyo, siya ang pinaka mataas, the highest part of the wave. If you say trough, it refers to the lowest point of the wave. Yeah, yun sa baba. Yeah, so kabaliktara ni crest is si trough. Mm -mm. Amplitude, which is defined as the maximum displacement of a wave on either side from its normal position. Yan. Yan siya. That is amplitude. Wavelength naman is the distance between any two successive crest or graph, whether it's on the top or in the bottom. If we say on the top, that is the crest. And if we say that bottom, that is the trough. And the wavelength is the distance between the successive cross and trough. Okay? So don't forget the parts of the wave. Yan. Yeah. And how, how do sound travels in waves? Okay. Yan. Try to feel your throat. Ito ha. Um, let's have, ano, let's focus on sound. Okay? Next week, iba na naman ang ating ipo-focus. Ito muna ating sound wave. So, i-feel natin yung ating throat when you speak. Say, ha, 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 ha. O, oh, diba? Um, meron tayo, pa, ha, ha, ha. sorry. Oh, magsalita lang kayo. Hello, hello, hello. Diba? Um, may vibration. Okay, di ba? These vibrations are regarded as disturbances that will eventually create the sounds. Yeah, so without the vibration coming from your the, in your throat, actually it's in your voice box, yeah, to be exact, there is a vibration. And these vibrations will carry the energy to your ears and it will be interpreted by our brains. For example, you the, the vibrations will carry the energy and then you hear that he is talking. So, nagsasalita siya. Ah, ito. Ah, kumakanta siya. Kasi it will go directly to your ears and it will be interpreted in your brains na, ah, siya nagsasalita. Ah, ito galit siya kasi malakas ang boses. Ah, ito nagpapatawa siya. Ah, ito siya kumakanta siya. Ang saya-saya niya. Okay? But sound waves need a medium in a form of a solid, liquid, or gas such as air to propagate. So therefore, sound cannot travel in a vacuum. Okay? Yan. Not the vacuum cleaner, ha? Okay? I want the, the vacuum or the empty. Yan. Parang ganon. So, kailangan niya ng what we call this form of medium in order to produce sound waves. Okay? Sige. Yan. Tama. Sabi naman ni, ano, ni, ni Dash na wave pag nag 
pag nagsasalita. Yes, that's already a sound wave. Yan. Okay, let's proceed. Sound is an example of a longitudinal wave. Okay, so remember the longitudinal wave, yung ganon. So ganon ang kanyang paggalaw, longitudinal, where sound waves travel in a direction to um, direction parallel to the direction of wave movement. It is also classified as a mechanical wave since, since it needs a medium to, to propagate. And ha, don't forget that sound wave is a mechanical wave. Yan. Thank you, thank you po sa lahat ng mga sumab, sumay, sumasa, sumasabay, sumusumab. Eh, to those people who are following in our tutorial, sorry, medyo ano, mahirap magtagalog. Yan, maraming salamat po sa mga humabol. Hello, hello po sa inyo. Next. Okay, let's go to characteristics of sounds. Yan. Wavelengths of sound can be determined through its frequencies. When there is high frequency, take note of this, the wavelength of sound is smaller, while a low frequency sound has a greater wavelength. For, for example, for this is this one, diba? Uh, frequencies perceived through pitch, okay? Yan which is highness or lowness of a sound. High pitch, if we say high pitch yung kanyang bosses, it means high ang kanyang frequency. So look at the picture. Diba? Mataas ang frequency niya. But the wavelength is smaller kasi yung kanyang spaces in between is makipot. While a low pitch or sound has a low frequency and the wavelength is high. Yan. Okay. Hello, hello, Ma'am Mabel Borjal. Thank you so much, Ma'am, for sharing our tutorial video for grade 7. Hello po. Maraming salamat po for sharing para sa bata at bayan. Okay. Next. Yan. Meron din tayo, tayong tinatawag na speed of sound. It determines how fast or slow sound travels. It is dependent on the kind of medium it travels. Hence, sound travels fastest in solids since its molecules are closely packed and slowest in the air since its molecules are loosely packed. Okay. So again, if the speed of the sound, if the, it is faster or is fastest if it is in solid, it travels in a solid, while because it, the molecules, molecules are closely packed, while slowest in the air where, because the molecules are loosely packed. Okay, alam nyo na yan sa, ano, sa phases of matter. Okay. Meron din tayo pag ang speed ng sound determines also the different factors. The atmospheric pressure, the relative humidi humidity, and the atmospheric temperature. So now, for instance, um, pag pumupunta kayo sa, sa Baguio, sino na nakapunta ng Baguio? Yan. ba? Summer capital, pero bawal lumabas tayo kasi pandemya. So, mag imagine na lang tayo pag nung nasa Baguio tayo dati. Diba? Ang sound nun, the high, the, the high the place is, kasi mataas yung ano, the low, the slower the sound travels. Yan. Pag malamig ang lugar. Pag mainit naman ang lugar, yung pang atin lang, yung, yung nasa ano, nasa ibaba, yun, mabilis ang speed of sound yan. Pag tinatawag kayo ng ina nyo, ng mama nyo, pag mainit, di ba, mas, ano, mas marinig nyo agad. Pero pag tinatawag kayo ng mama nyo sa, pag nasa bagyo kayo, medyo mahina at hindi nyo marinig. Yan. Kasi it depends on the pressure and the temperature of the place. Yan. Sabi ni Dash, wow, si Dash, nakasubaybay, Tagaytay lang po. Oo, malamig din sa Tagaytay. Yan. Ako nakapunta na ako ng Tagaytay once. Oo nga, sobrang lamig. 
Yan. Okay, thank you so much for for your cooperation. Yan. Um, basa-basahin muna natin itong mga comments nila. Sabi naman ni Ma'am LV, good afternoon po. Yes po, good afternoon. Yan. Tsaka, hello, hello. Um, watching Ma'am Bay Borjal, thank you so much for sharing. And also, Arthur James Isbena Santos, hello, hello po. So, yun po. Um, watching from Sangbay Integrated School, Nagtipunan Kirino, hello, hello. Yan. So I think we are all set and ready for our what we call this um, quiz for this afternoon. Oh, my quiz talaga, no? Hindi naman, parang ano lang, um, kwento-kwento lang, um, sagutan lang ng mga, ano, ng mga sagot. Ayun. Um, hello din kay, ano, before we proceed, hello Ma'am Nora Alfonso Pangan. Hello po, Ma'am Nora. And also, thank you so much, Ma'am Mabel Borjal, once again. Madali pong maintindihan yung aking tutorial. Thank you so much po. It's my honor po to share my, ano, um, konting kaalaman lang naman sa grade 7. At saka sa inyo po, wala po kaming pagod na patuloy na mag-share ng aming ano ng oras at commitment para sa bata at para sa bayan. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, hello po kay Sir Junjun Rivera watching from Banaba Circa Integrated School in Dangkavite. Wow, I hope I could able to to visit all your schools. <laughs> diba? <laughs> saya, saya. Okay. Now, let's proceed. The, I think that this would be the last characteristics of a sound wave. Let's go to amplitude. Okay, amplitude is related to the loudness and intensity of sound. Intensity of sound. Sound waves may transmit a different amount of energy. This energy is known as the intensity of sound. Okay. Yan. Diba? Um, for example, pag naririnig nyo yung, yung mama nyo na pinapagalitan kayo, yun ay depende din naman. Diba? Depende din naman sa amplitude or sa intensity of sound na kanilang pinuduce. It could be noise, diba? it could be soft, or it could be sound, loud sound. Okay. So, napapansin nyo, ang kaibahan ng different ano intensity of sound when it comes to wavelength okay yan thank you so much dash for sabi niya nakakapagpasaya din po kayo pag nagpapaliwanag wow thank you so much am um, lahat kami ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa inyong kooperasyon Maraming salamat, Dash. Okay, so don't forget all of those characteristics of sounds. I think for next week, huwag tayong um, lumimot sa ating um, discussion according to, I think it's week um, week five, it's heat energy or sige lang, let's, ano, let's try to, to check. Okay, so now let's proceed to our challenge. Yan. Are you ready for our challenge? Yan. Okay. Sabi ni, ano, ni Dash, tapos pag, tapos pag, pag may kailangan, soft sound. Oh, nga. Okay. So, you're talking about your mother, di ba? Pag may kailangan, soft sound. Pero pag pinapagalitan, ano, noise. Yan. Pero, lahat kayo, mga sudyante, kahit na noise or soft, or loud yung produce ng sound ng mama nyo, you have to love your parents, your mother, your father, your guardian, your lolo, your lola. Dahil sila yung gumagabay at umaaruga sa inyo. Okay? Or even your teachers. Diba? diba? Love na love natin yan, ating mga magulang. Kahit anong intensity pa yan na ang kanilang ano, pinuproduce everyday. 
Okay. okay. Before we proceed to our challenge, I would like to greet Ma'am Ma Elvi Tolentino Filiapando. Hello po, good day. Watching from Santa Anastasia. Anastasia San Rafael National High School. San Rafael City of Santo Tomas, Batangas. Wow! Division of Batangas Province. Thank you so much. Now, let's proceed. Okay, so we have to determine the correct illustration to describe the characteristics of sound or characteristic of sound waves in each item below. Write the letter of the correct answer on the space provided for each item. Okay, so questions. Number one, which has a higher frequency? Fre frequency, rather. Yan. Is it A or B? Ano kayang sagot? So while waiting for your answers, I would like to greet. Okay, hello, Ma'am Janeline. Wow, nice advice. Thank you po. Yeah, love na love natin yan ating mga magulang at ating mga guro or guardians or lola or lolo, tito or tita. Okay, what's your answer for number one? Uh -huh. Regin Alejandro Alejado answered A. Dash answered also A. Dash, since you, are, you said na you are a grade 7 learner, pwede ka bang mag-post na habang Okay, ikaw ay nunood ng itulay at saka itag mo ako. My Facebook is Roger Garcia. Yan. Okay, lahat ay... Don't forget to write the number para alam ko yung ano, kung saan kayo sumasagot. Okay, so the answer is letter A. Yan, galing-galing. Next, which has a software sound? Yeah, number two, which has the so softer sound? Softer. Softer sound. Saan? A, ganun, or B, ganun. Saan dyan? The answer for number two. Wow, Ma'am Jessica, first honor, ha? Huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. The correct answer for number two, it's letter A. Galing, galing. Thank you so much to those who answered correctly. Ang galing mo na, Ma'am Jessica, kanina sa pre-test, uh, medyo ano, needs to improve. Ngayon, perfect na. Okay, next, number three. Which medium sound travel faster? Okay. Saan? Saan dyan? Number three, your answer. What's your answer for number three? I think I omit a wrong answer key here. Kaya kailangan kong malaban. Oo, para mali yung answer key na nilagay ko dito. Okay, lahat kayo ay correct. It's letter B. Pero ang in-encircle ko is A, pero mali yung aking pagka-circle. Uh -oh. The answer is letter B. Yes. Yan. Letter B ang sagot nun. Sorry. I, I, ano, I stand corrected. Namali lang yung ano. Pero the correct answer is letter B. Yan. Thank you so much for your understanding. Okay. Next. Which has higher amplitude? Ito. Yan. Which has the higher amplitude for number four? Okay, higher amplitude. The correct answer for number four, it's letter B. Yan, tama si Regine Alejado. Thank you so much. Yan. Okay. Okay, number five. Yan, which has a smaller wavelength? Which has the smaller wavelength? Saan dyan? Okay, number five, which has a smaller wavelength? Ayun, hala, saan dyan ang smaller wavelength? Wavelength. Mm -hmm. The correct answer for number five. Okay, may nauna na si Rona D. Disigano. 
Yan, which is letter A. Wow. I think all of you got the correct answer. Ako pala yung nagkamali. <laughs> Sorry masyado ha. Pero actually it's letter B. Medyo na ano lang ako na na-overlook ko lang. Maybe sa pagka-edit. Pero actually lahat kayo tama. Okay. A big round of applause. Lahat kayo ay makaka... Ano ba? Ano bang... Ano ko? Ano pa? Okay, ito na lang. Okay, yay! Meron na kayong, ano, ano ba tawag ito? Pang travel pillow. <laughs> Dahil nasagot nyo lahat. Very good. Thank you so much for your, for your patience and for answering the questions and for taking the challenge. Yeah, me as your tutor for this afternoon is really happy and glad to be with you this afternoon. I think that would be all. Maraming salamat. And I have a few minutes to go before I leave. Yan, magkita-kits na naman tayo sa ating susunod sa na ating e-tutorial. Okay, e to light tutorial. Every Monday, 1 p.m. to 1.40. Once again, I am your tutor, yung Biba Bimbang tutor at Chabing tutor. <laughs> Tutor Rogar, uh, maraming salamat. Hello sa akong mga, mga amigo, amiga, and sa lahat ng mga sudyante na nagsubaybay sa akin. Maraming salamat. Okay? And nakakatuwa naman, sir, ang lakas ng sense of humor. Wow! Uh, oh. <laughs> um, yes, oh, oh. sa personal, masyado. Super. Oh, oh. Magsikahan tayo, Ma'am Janeline. Yan. Maraming salamat. Marang may salamat, Ma'am Jessica. Uh, ako, magsusubaybay din ako sa iyo. Sasagot din ako sa mga, ano mo, sa, sa mga katanungan mo. Maraming salamat. So up next, thank you for comments, suggestions. Email us at edtech at deped.gov.ph. Up next is our Science 8 Tutor Z. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us always. Balaygon and Joss.